Hello everybody, welcome to Adventures of Beekeeping. My name is Dale and I'm just starting the second year of beekeeping. Uh, this is my Siven 31212 extractor and it's a manual extractor. And this box contains the electric conversion. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to convert this manual Siven extractor into a motorized electric extractor. Come along for the adventure! Before we get started, I want to show you the connection between the manual and the, the, the manual transmission here and the actual uh, container that holds the frames. So it's just this little pin and this little uh, coupler that comes together. Okay? Now, First thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and just take the uh, crank off, just to make it more convenient for me. Just take that off. And now the instructions say that you uh, loosen this knob and take it all the way off. Then we're going to loosen the other knob at the same time. So just loosening these two knobs. And there's a washer here and a washer here. Okay, I'm just going to store them right there. And then all you need to do is pull up on this and it releases the uh, drum inside and it removes the manual crank. So I'm going to take this into the other room and I'll be right back. This is the box that the motor comes in and uh, I've not opened it. I have no idea what's in here. So let's just do it real quick here. Let's get in here and see, see what we got. Instructions. Let's see. I think that's the same user manual that I got with the other one. It is indeed. It's the same manual and it gives some instructions here on how to uh, install the motor, uh, which I've already read. So um, let's see. Box of packing here. So it looks, there's the motor. Looks like it's a complete replacement for the top. It has its own doors and everything. Unwrap this plastic. So the only thing that we really need to worry about is lining up that the drum with the with the fingers there. I think I can just set this right on here for a moment. I don't know if we can get a close up of this. Set that right on there. I think it's I think it's lined up. It's not 
It is lined up, but it's not going down. And this thing, this one has to come up here. Ah, I see why it's not lined up. Because this is not lined up. Okay. Is there something in there? It's not that difficult to do. It should just line right up and go right down on there. Did they give me the wrong model? Is it not going right down on there? Can you shine, can you uh, video right there and show that it is lined up? Maybe it's not lined up perfectly. Sorry. There it goes. There it goes. Now just have to line up the nuts. Line up this, line up this bolt. And line up this bolt. Does that go down? Are there any more parts? Any more parts? Okay. Let's see. This right here also needs to line up. So this needs to go down there like that. And now this bolt is not lined up. So I'm going to push it up a little bit. A little bit there, but there we go. There. That's good. Now, the parts that I left in the other, in the manual crank system I have to get. Remember the washer? The washer goes right there. The other washer goes right here. And then we're just going to turn this knob and crank this right on here. And turn this knob and crank this. Right on there. That wasn't so bad. Alrighty, so let's uh, let me plug it in, and we'll give it a crank, and see what happens. Be right back in a second. Okay, that was a little difficult, but it shouldn't be that bad. I think it's just because I was trying to do it all by myself. Um, so we have it plugged in, and it's ready to go. So it ha it will go both directions. So you can have it go right 
or left. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the speed all the way down, all the way down. I think it's all the way down. Yep, all the way down. And then we're going to turn it the direction. So we want it to go, let's say we want it to go right. So now we're going to dial up the speed and see it turn. See it begin to turn as we dial it up. It begins to go counterclockwise. And uh, that looks like that's about half speed. Of course, there's nothing in there. I really don't know how fast you should really run it with the stuff in it. So then I'm going to dial it all the way down and turn it completely off and let it coast to a stop. And then I'm going to turn it to the other direction, which would be considered left. And then I'm going to turn it on. Now you can see it's moving clockwise. Okay, so, so stay tuned for videos with actual frames in this, uh, in the extractor. And uh, thank you so much for watching. That's the process of converting the Civen 31212 to the, the manual version to an electric version. It's that simple. Uh, thank you for watching. God bless and have a great day.